good. Well, perhaps better not go into that. Have you ever thought that the problem might just be with you? <coughs> with me? What an extraordinary idea is absolutely out of the question. What can she mean? What she means is that you would probably stand a much better chance of finding yourself a bride if you weren't so concerned with all of these superficial things. I mean, all you care about is title and pedigree and teeth. Look, look. I am a prince, you know, with standards to maintain. We all know you're a prince. We do. Fool, you know he's a prince, right? Ah, uh, yeah, right, he's a prince. And I know you're a prince. We, we appreciate that fact. It's just that I have yet to hear the word love mentioned. I mean, or isn't that important to you? Oh, well, of course. If, if, if all the other conditions were met, then indeed, indeed, it certainly, it certainly might. You are an incurable romantic, Richie. Go away. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know what I think? I think you don't know what you want. Look! I am the prince, heir to the throne. I am dashed nearly divine. Of course I know what I want. Who are you to talk to me like that? I am a princess who happens to be in the wrong place at the right time trying to help out a stubborn prince. A princess who goes around cleaning up fools' rooms. A fine princess of plague on both your houses. You could back me up. A fool who meddles is soon unemployed, if you get my drift. Uh, could you help me out of this, please? Stop. Easy. Oh. Do you know what I like to do? Great, right, yeah. I like to count horses and think about my feet. Ah, great. Right. Do you have interests other than podiatry and equestrian mathematics? I like to watch birds. Ah, I perceive common ground. Uh, do you like to catalogue the various species, map the migration routes, etc.? Oh, I don't know about that. I just like to watch them eat. <laughs> All right? I want a nice fair fight. I mean, let's keep this clean, boys. No thrusting below the belt. Touch swords and come out. Parry! Ready? Onga! Ah. So, uh, when are you and Princess Becky gonna tie the noose? Well, Princess Rebecca is very beautiful, I suppose, in time. She's a moron! That's a distinct possibility. <coughs> Fencing is not a fool's forte. All right, you're alive. Get up again. <laughs> On the other hand, I don't want to marry someone who has the personality of a moat. So dump her. On the other hand, she is a princess. So marry her. Yeah, I'm sure. Give her a couple of pounds of birdseed. She'll be happy as a lark. Get it? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ah, oh, no. Dead. Fall down. Look, Richard, I mean, all kidding aside, I really believe this is not the girl for you. You're right. I'd have a royal nervous breakdown. Excuse me. <laughs> but could you please tell me where the royal stables are? She must be in the mood to count. <laughs> yes, my dear. The royal stables. They're right oh, no, over... Uh, I, think, I think that she means the royal stables. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh the royal, royal stables. stables. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this way. Yes. yes. Go into town, rent yourself a coach. Mm. And then you just keep uh, going on the same road that you're on, a long way. Oh, yes, yeah, 75. Uh, it's got to be 80 miles. Oh, 80 miles, 80 yeah. Miles. And yes. hang a right. Yes, and then you'll find it, and then you keep going anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, actually. No, never mind. <laughs> nice trip. Hey, hey, you owe me one. Ah! No! Damn! How honored I am to meet you face to face. The honor is entirely yours. Quite frankly, you've always been my idol. We're just simple folk, really. Well, I was overjoyed when I received your invitation that you were considering me 
as a possible wife for your son, the prince. Well, there was another lady under consideration, a pr Princess Rebecca. She's vanished without a trace. May I kiss your feet? I think you'll fit in very nicely with our humble little family. I have just decided that the horizon is much too far away. And that is why I hereby command all the king's horses and all the king's men to take some very large ropes and pull the horizon closer to the castle. Let it be written and let it be done. Gardens. Uh, we have many beautiful flowers. I'm allergic to flowers. They stink. Aha. Uh, uh, these, of course, are the royal thrones. No kidding. Well, no. I... These are going to have to go. You know. For the past few hours, you have been rude, arrogant, obnoxious, and not a great deal of fun. Why don't you shut your princely mouth? <laughs> Frankly, my dear, I don't think I like you very much. Frankly, my dear, I don't care. I don't have to impress you. Your mother is the one who counts, and in case you haven't noticed, she's crazy about me. You are simply a rung on my ladder to success. An object to be stepped on. There's something not quite right here. Just a little, not too much. Yes, Mum. Gardening, Mother? <laughs> yes! I just love working with my hands. I find it very relaxing. Yes. Well, I have to talk to you about Princess Elizabeth. Oh, yes. I'm... A fine girl. She well... will make you an excellent wife. And she happens to think that I am the cat's meow, so yes. to speak. Yes, but I think what she thinks of In you fact, is rather... In fact, we've already begun the initial preparations for the wedding. Your dirt have been designed. The rice is being grown. Yes, but there is something wrong with the, as it were, relationship. What? I hate her. Oh, tut, tut, dear son, that's irrelevant. You'll sleep in separate rooms, you'll dine at separate tables, and you don't even have to see her if you don't wish. And why on earth should I marry her? Because there are no other princesses left, and because I said so, that's why. But, Mother! End of discussion. Where's the fool? I don't know. He's off experimenting with explosives or something. He said it was for his act. Oh, Lord. You're going somewhere? Yes, actually. I mean, as much as I've enjoyed this tiny cramped room, I've really got to be off. Oh. Where will you go? I don't know yet. I may go north or I may go south. I may go east or I may go west. Unless, of course, I'm feeling adventuresome and then I'll go southwest. <laughs> You know, you, you've been here for days. I know absolutely nothing about you. Well, there's not much to know, really. I mean, it's a usual story. A girl runs away from home, looking for, I don't know, life, I suppose. And I've traveled all the major 